Hello and welcome to the Bay Pay Forum's daily news podcast. I'm Lisa, here to bring you the latest in payments and fintech. This episode is proudly sponsored by Paycademy.com, your leading online resource for learning about the payments and fintech industry, anytime, anywhere, with over 220 courses at your fingertips. Let's dive into today's top stories. IATA, Outpace Support Airlines in Accepting A2A Payments Outpace, a venture launched in 2023 to improve Amadeus' travel payments sector, has partnered with IATA to enable airlines to accept account-to-account A2A payments. Checkout.com integrates virtual card for holiday extras. Checkout.com has optimized holiday extras payment processes using virtual cards, resulting in improved automation and operational efficiency. Xena secures US$22 million United States dollars in funding for Middle East expansion. Xena, a UAE-based financial platform supporting consumers and businesses, has secured US$22 million United States dollars in a Series A funding round. Tapino allows UK users to leverage Tap to Pay on iPhone. UTP's app for micro-merchants Tapino has announced that it enabled its merchants operating across the UK to accept in-person contactless payments with Tap to Pay on iPhone. Satispay teams up with Stripe to augment payments for Italian businesses. Italy-based payment provider Satispay has entered into a strategic partnership with Stripe to mitigate difficulties in online digital shopping for merchants and consumers in the region. North Korea hits crypto industry with social engineering attacks. The FBI has announced that the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is engaging in social engineering campaigns targeting employees in the DeFi and cryptocurrency sectors. Facetech unveils ERC codes for identity verification. Facetech has introduced a new protocol for remote identity verification using ERC codes. EP Resources implements SureComp's Revo for trade finance automation. SureComp has announced that EP Resources has selected the Revo solution to automate and enhance its documentary trade finance operations. o 10 Tix Fraud Report unveils an increase in automated bot attacks. Global technology company specializing in identity verification and management O10TIX has launched its Q2 2024 Global Identity Fraud Report, which highlights substantial trends in large-scale organized identity fraud. MasterCard supports self-custodial crypto wallets. MasterCard is expanding its support for non-custodial cryptocurrency wallets through a collaboration that allows users to spend crypto stored via self-custody. OKX Singapore receives MPI license from Moss. OKX Singapore has been granted a major payment institution, MPI, license by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, Moss. PayPal revamps app to offer choice rewards program. PayPal is rolling out a new rewards program and more personalized ways for users to manage their spending in a major revamp designed to give consumers a smart choice for every purchase, every time. Sustainable Finance Live 2024, Bank of Spain releases report on satellite data. The Bank of Spain has recently released a report outlining the potential of satellite data to make a difference in collecting climate-related data. Santander Spain appoints new CEO Ignacio Juli. Ignacio Juli, formerly CEO of ING for Spain and Portugal, is to be appointed as CEO of Santander Spain. Binance Kazakhstan gains consent for full regulatory license. Binance Kazakhstan has been granted consent for a full regulatory license from Astana Financial Services Authority, AFSA. General AI for compliance startup Cedric I raises $18 million. Amerian Express Ventures has joined an $18 million funding round in Cedric AI, a startup developing a dedicated compliance large language model, LLM, for financial services. Governments sign up to Council of Europe AI Framework Convention. UK, US and EU among the signatories on the Council of Europe's Framework Convention on Artificial Intelligence and Human Rights, Democracy, and the Rule of Law. Slovak customers can now utilize BLIK's payment services. Poland-based payment service provider Blick has announced that it completed all implementation procedures and is currently available to Tatra Banka customers. Binance Kazakhstan receives regulatory approval from AFSA. Binance Kazakhstan, a branch of the global Binance blockchain ecosystem, has received approval from the Astana Financial Services Authority, AFSA, for a full regulatory license. 
Synapse failure could force reset of banking as a service model. When it comes to fintech, technology often overshadows the financial underpinnings. Thank you for joining us for today's coverage. Remember, you can delve deeper into any story we discussed today by visiting our news section at baypayforum.com. We're here every day, bringing you the critical insights and latest trends across the payments and fintech landscape. Until next time, I'm Lisa, thanking you for watching and inviting you to join us again tomorrow for more updates. Stay informed, stay ahead.